Hello Squirrels and welcome back to PPM6 TV. Today what it is, is not one, and not two, but three high quality small diameter condenser microphones and all from German speaking Europe. Uh, in the frame at the moment, I've got the Neumann KM184. What more can we say about it? It's, a, it's, a, it's an absolute classic. Uh, against it, uh, first up, is the Gefell M200. Um, that's part of the 2000 series of interchangeable capsule mics uh, from Gefell. So uh, that's got a strong card to play there. And uh, in my hand, um, another classic. It's an AKG 480B with a, UK, uh, with a CK61 capsule, the, the cardioid. I'm slightly sad because I noticed that last my last gig I scratched it. I don't like scratching my mics, but there you go. Um, probably a little bit harder to find than the... I don't think they're making them anymore. They're certainly not making them in Austria anymore. Uh, but this has got, I mean, it's got a heck of a specification. Probably, uh, from noise perspective, better than either of those. Although, in practice, that may not be the case. Um, that's the sort of thing that we're going to find out. So, first up, uh, we'll come round to 90 and uh, do a bit of off-axis with the Neumann and the Gefell. Looking across the capsules at 90 degrees, we are um, getting a nice view of them in longitudinal mode. I think the Neumann is about two thirds of the length of the, the Gefell, both finished to a very high standard. Uh, the Neumann is my own. I'm grateful to uh, John Willett at soundlink.co.uk, who is the Gefell distributor. And to be fair to John, he provides me with um, uh, a whole range of, and I'm really amazed at the range that Gefell offer. If you look on the website, for what is not a, a massive, you know, a mega corporation, they have got mics for everything and none of their microphones ever disappoint. So I'm expecting uh, good results here. Now, one of the areas where these mics traditionally struggle is, of course, close in. Uh, because they're pressure uh, gradient systems, they... Um, uh, they suffer from bass tip-up. However, an interesting point, I was reading the Gefell literature on the uh, M200 and it says the amplifier body includes um, a low frequency roll-off which will help with bass tip-up. So I thought, well, let's give that a try. I mean, usually, uh, you know, when, when uh, manufacturers are discussing their, their low frequency roll-offs, they talk it in terms of wind noise or rumble, but uh, Gefell have particularly picked out uh, bass tip-up or the proximity effect, depending on uh, what, you want, what language you want to use. I'm expecting that bass roll-off to give the M200 a significant advantage um, uh, this close in. And the reason I'm doing it, which you could say, well, it's not fair to the Neumann. Well, actually, you've paid your money for the microphone. This is a facility and a feature of the microphone. We should show, show that off to its best at least once at any rate. Now we've got the KM184 at the top and we've replaced the M200 Gefell with an AKG480. Probably not so well known as the uh, predecessor to the 460, uh, which was the 451 uh, sort of series. And they, they were just like ubiquitous in the BBC. Um, and bedeviled by very fine threads on the on the capsules when you were changing them. And, and we often stripped them, I'm afraid. Uh, but we didn't, the 460 and then the 480 didn't quite get the exposure. Maybe the higher price, I, I don't know. They just weren't as successful. They didn't appear uh, everywhere. Uh, just while I'm on the subject of things I like about AKG, um, the SA40, the, you have to get one second hand now because I think they've now moved on to a different, but these are just great uh, clips. You know, I've never broken one. They're, they're flexible, but they hold the mic firm. They're just really well made. Um, so if you, if you get a chance to get an SA40 cheap, snap it up is what I say. Okay, so uh, one more word. The um, AKG has got uh, pads and uh, bass roll-off switches on the body of the mic, and I am going to use them when uh, we get to close up. But first, off-axis. We've shifted our angle to 90 degrees to incident and we're talking into the sides of the capsules. And that will give you some idea. And I had a very interesting comment. I mean, if you watch, if you read the comments, uh, Hugh is, a, is an old sound supervisor. Sorry, Hugh. So is an experienced sound supervisor uh, from TV Southwest, I think, and always has interesting uh, things to say. And uh, he felt the Neumann didn't do this quite as well on the off-axis tests in the hypercardioid video, if you check that one out. So I'll be interested to see if the AKG uh, much beloved, I think, by him and by me, just for historical reasons, uh, is able to best the um, the Neumann on the side. And of course, the Gefell, I'm expecting uh, uh, very good results from that too. So um, lots, lots to go at in our, in our off-axis experimentation. 
Now, I've taken 6 or 7 dB out of uh, these mics so that uh, I don't distort them. And uh, I've got the 150. The, uh, the AKG actually has a 75 and a 150 option on low frequency roll off. And I've gone for the max. I've gone for 150. And I've got my hack and pop killer in place. And um, I mean, this is a stress test. I'm creeping in. I should do my radio voice, shouldn't I? I'm creeping in now. This is very close. And I'm expecting all sorts of horrible audio nasties. But who knows? Life can sometimes throw up some surprises. Last but not least, the um, AKG 480 CK61 against the Gefell M200. Now, the, the AKG really is a fantastic mic, and I'm really looking forward to listening to this sort of uh, uh, face-off. Uh, for one extra reason, which is if you asked me what has been the most popular mic uh, or, on all the reviews I've done, I think the, um, the Gefell M930 has has been a, a really popular choice uh, it's their large uh, diaphragm cardioid um a mic it's around about a thousand pounds mark the video i've got up about it is against the austrian audio oc818 both fantastic mics but that gefell just causes ripples and i and i'm hoping that the same will be true of the m200 i mean for, for a small company they've got a fantastic range of mics and um uh, we do want to, I, I, I want to support European industry and I want to support small, uh, high quality mic makers. And every mic I've had from Gefell has been of top, top quality. So um, uh, not an easy challenge for it, though, because the 480 is a beast. We've moved around the compass to 90 degrees to give us uh, an off axis, uh, a simple off axis um, comparison. And um, it's been one of the themes, you know, people have really picked up on the off-axis stuff and uh, are listening very carefully, which is a good idea because, you know, when when you're stressed in the field and, um, you know, you're in a lively environment that you can't control, how much damage is the off-axis doing to your sound is always a very good question. Now, with mics of this quality, um, I should hope the answer to that is very little, but that's what we're here to test. I've taken 10 dB out of the mic amps and I've switched in the bass roll off. I've put the max roll off into the 480, which is 150, because this is close in and dirty. Now, uh, the uh, just a, uh, the finish on both mics is excellent. I think the Gefells may be slightly better, though on the dip switches, I think the uh, AKG wins because the the uh, the Gefells do look like uh, what you get out of a Maplin. No, 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 that's not fair. Out of an RS catalog. Um, whereas the, the, the AKG's got nice little slidery things, but it's, it's probably no difference whatsoever. And the nice thing about the, the Gefell ones is you can tell from a distance what position they're in because they're white. Anyway, uh, you probably don't care about that. You probably care about what these sound like close in. So this is me eating the Harkin Pop Killer and um, stressing these mics out tremendously, no doubt. So the gain's back in and the dip switches are out. The both mics are back to linear. Um, it's great fun, really, isn't it? Um, it's a privilege, in a way, to um, uh, have a chance to listen to, to really high-quality mics, uh, ponder the fine differences, and uh, do some fantasy uh, microphone shopping. Uh, my thanks again to John Willett for, uh, for sending over the Gefell. Such a good guy. Uh, soundlink.co.uk. It's not a sponsored channel, but I like to thank the people who help. Anyway, uh, thanks for dropping by. Do subscribe. It does help. Bye for now.